Um, I'm going to show how to use transmit to access your S3 bucket. There was a little permission issue that I can, uh, that I couldn't figure out, at least not easily anyway, because Amazon's so easy to use. <laughs> um, so every time I tried attempt to do it with transmit, I mean, I, I use FTP and SFTP and stuff like that, but with S3, uh, I always got hung up on the fact that it always said, um, you know, server said access denied. So tonight I figured it, I mean, I figured it out. So uh, what you're gonna have to do is go to your, sorry if you didn't see that, but uh, I went to my name and security credentials and then let me refresh real quick. There you go. Until this uh, gets started with uh, AIM user comes up and I'm gonna click on that and then I'm gonna create new user and I'm just going to call it transmit. Okay, so I'm going to download my credentials. I'm going to actually pause the video because everything you need to know is in there. CVS file. It's going to be your access ID, which is the shorter one, followed by a comma, and then followed by an extremely long one. And that extremely long one is your secret. Okay, so this is my, obviously this is mine, and this is where I got stuck most of the time server set access to mine. So uh, I have created uh, S3 buckets in the past and you know made them, um, uh, I was able to make them a website. So, and when I was doing that, I had to attach a policy to it. So, and I was wondering if it worked the same way and it does. So if you go here again, if you find your list of users, I just clicked on this and I just went to the permission tab. Amazon uh, gives you a full list of predefined policies and all you have to do is go to Amazon S3 full access, click that and attach the policy. And then when you do that, you're, or when you go to connect, then it will That was a little hiccup, I guess. Um, so, but maybe I didn't give it enough time, I'm not sure. But uh, after you attach that policy, it will give you access to your buckets. And it's really good because I was using Firefox's, uh, I was using an S3 Firefox plugin for a while and I really wanted to use this. But anyway, if this helps anybody else save a little bit of time, then I'm glad I uploaded the video.